Okay, three, two, one. Hello, YouTube. This is Cody with Search My Dick TCG. We are bringing you an exciting tin opening. Got our hands on some super cool Hidden Fates tins. We have two Gyarados, one Charizard. That's what we were able to get our hands on. No Raichu, unfortunately. Um, but we still got some cool Blue Snake and a cool Lizard Boy. So let's get right into it. We're going to start. We'll save Charizard for last. And we'll start with the Gyaradoses. Left them totally sealed so you guys can get the complete experience with me. It's a new way to get your hands on some hidden fates. Um, if you did not get any of the pin collection, they restocked a little bit. You need to get a hold of them, but these pins are everywhere. They're selling out. Not as bad as the pin collection, I don't think. You'll be able to see them a little bit more, but still selling out somewhat. And so if you don't get them by the weekend, I might have a hard time getting them. For now, at least. Here's our double Gyarados. We're gonna start with these, and then we'll slow the Charizard. These tins are beautiful. The promos are even prettier. Struggling, struggling on camera. Yeah, come on. That is the tin lid. Not a huge fan of these old tins. I like the tag team tins better as far as the shape and size goes. But these are super wonderful. Um, they're really good looking. So there's the promo right over there. These promos, unfortunately, are not too fantastic. Charizard is definitely the best one, but in a, only only in a Mewtwo box deck. As far as Raichu and Gyarados go, not good, but they look really cute, really good. And they're from the Japanese um, family box set. If you have not seen a tin for whatever reason, that's what they look like. Just your standard regular tins that have been coming out for a while now. I think all of the Sun and Moon tins have been the size. I think the X and Y tins were a little shorter. But this is your standard Sun and Moon tin. It's really pretty. The art looks really good. For all, all three of them look great. Make sure we'll leave, we'll leave you on camera. Right there. Break up the second one. But all these promos are from the Japanese hidden food. Bleh. Japanese family box set and they're just they're made for young children all the promos were so all the your pincer your regular Mewtwo um, Wigglytuff those kind of ones you might pull in the set that don't have a lot of um, effects on the attacks if not um, most of these have no effects on the attacks I think the Wigglytuff's the only one with special effects um, that is because it was just made for young children they decided to just put them in this set for us. So, there's our shiny Charizard packaging. Hopefully, we pull one of those, or two, or three, or five. Alright, let's so get the two tins opened up. We'll find a way. Usually, I just put um, extra sleeves or codes in these. Um, I have some old tins. Maybe I'll retire and put these in or somewhat. I'm not sure yet. Let's get into it. So, there are our setup. We have a Gyarados. I did not set up here. We have a Gyarados, but he's too hard to get to. Who's gonna join us today? Let's go with Ivysaur. Ivysaur today, as our Mega Constructs friend, we are missing Sawaddle. Um, some kitty of ours has done something with her. Not sure what happened at the moment, but we'll find her for next video, hopefully. All right, let's get into the first round of packs. Nice and centered there. And probably gonna slow roll these again. It's probably gonna be a while to get some more hidden fates. At least until the. Oh, there's the code. Oops. Um, at least until the Elite Trainer Box. It's probably the last hidden fates I'll buy until the Elite Trainer Box. And which I did. I did get my. I did one pre ordered. We're not gonna do three. They're expensive. But we will do one for sure. That will definitely be on video. We got a Psyduck, our Magikarp to go with our Gyarados. If I were to pick which is the best of the promos, um, besides, uh, Gyarados is probably the worst of the three. Um, this Raichu can use the Electric Power and um, Coco Prism. But right, um, Water does not have a lot of support right now, despite being super effective against most of the big powerhouses. It just not a lot going for him. And our rare is going to be. Did I mess that up? Oh, Erica's rare. 
All right, I forget the error because it's a rare. They made rare supporters. That is the thing. All right, we got kind of an interesting little visual here. Let's keep them rolling. Hope you guys are having a good night. If you wanted to get some Hidden Fates, I hope that you did. Let's that up again. We'll get, we'll do it right at some point. There's our energy. Um, There's a really exciting weekend for buying cards. There was the uh, tag team pin collection, the of course, the hippie uh, Hidden Fates pin, all th or not pins, uh, tins. Hidden Fates tins, the tag team tins. There was the uh, Pokeball, the new, I think there's a new wave of Pokeballs came out. Um, as well as the, I don't know what you call the official name, I just call them the Bubblegum tins. Alright, and our rare is an Eevee. An Eevee is a, a rare, interesting. I don't know if I like Eevee being a rare. It's a hollow, but sure. Um, but yeah, there's a, I just call them the Bubblegum tins because. They feel like they would carry bubblegum. The official name, but those the new wave of those came out. So got my hands on a but lot about a bunch of products. So we're gonna have a couple opening videos. I don't think I'm gonna do it on the same day. We'll we'll stagger them a little bit. But alright. Let's get a shiny here in this tin. I'm not sure which tin this was. Just kinda stacked them. I think this was the uh, that tin, right tin, left tin, directions are hard. There's a cute slowpoke and a Voltorb. But yeah, if you wanted some of these tins, I definitely hope you got them because they've been hard to procure um, after this weekend. Probably if you've not, again, I'm sure they'll be restocked for sure. But at the immediate future, it'll be hard to get one. And Justin James, hey, it's the first Justin James, we'll take it. It's still a couple dollar card, I believe. I love that art. Very gorgeous. It's the only thing really worth writing down at the moment. But yeah, we got one more Hidden Fates. You will definitely get your chance if you do not get it yet with the Elite Trainer Box, which I know is selling out online. Um, so I was able to get one. So, but then after that, we still have the Pokeball Collection um, with Zorak and Metagross, and then after that, and that's in two two weeks is the Elite Trainer Box, with, and then two weeks after that is the Pokeball Collection. I don't know the official name. I think it's maybe the Pokeball Collection. Um, then a couple weeks, then I believe two weeks after that, um, or and then yeah, two or three weeks after that is the Premium Collection with the shiny Gar shiny Brick Quaza, the Golden um, Krasma, the Golden Solgaleo, and Golden uh, Nala or the Golden Ultras. I don't remember exactly. And we got Shiny Purple! Hey! And a build analysis. So that's pretty cool. I if I put it in the right pile. That's our Shiny. Yay! We got a Shiny. Woo! That's Shiny. It's Purple. Um, definitely playing that. I'm actually going to play Quagnag this weekend. So I'll probably slip that in for sure. I'd love to get maybe Shiny Whooper. Would be super exciting. So that was the first 10. So all in all, not a very good tin. Really bad, actually. Got a Jesse and James and a shiny Poipo. But hey, oh, we're gonna get a shiny in the second tin, and it'll be a shiny Charizard, and it'll be all the money, and we'll be happy. All the money, yay! So, oops. I'm gonna mess that up. Keep messing these up. But we're here having fun. That's another electric one here. Um, alright. But after the Ultimate Premium Collection, I think that's the end of, at least at the moment, of the announced products. I'm not sure what they're going to do after that. It's quite a bit of product, so that might be the end of Hidden Fates product. Probably not exactly, I'm sure they'll release. I don't know Legends they released for a good while. Alright, our rare here is just a boring Zapdos. So nothing too exhilarating. Alright. One of Erica's is a good way. So that's really not the, it's not the most amazing set, but the way you get Erica is the way to get builds um, and surge. It's a decent way to get some other supporters. Um, would have been kind of nice if they were showing like Cynthia and Lily, made it, but it is a collector set, so I kind of get it. Oops. I bumped the camera. It's always nice. Good job. But yeah, I believe at the moment, at the time of recording at least, at the premium collection, which I believe comes out either mid-October or early November. 
I want to say mid-October um, is the end of the Hidden Fates at the moment, but I'm sure it might really something, maybe not because they're already started focusing on Sword and Shield product. So it might be the end, but it won't surprise me if they still can just sneak some more in. Getting some more surges. And Pokemon Center Lady. It's our first Pokemon Center Lady with this art. I love this art. It's super cute. It's kind of a random card. Um, it's, I don't know how many sets old. It's quite a bit of sets old. Ooh, and Shiny Ralts. Hey, and a hey, Jolteon. But Shiny Ralts. That's super cool. Um, so, we got hitting the Shinies. Hitting the cool Pokemon Center ladies. I kind of like her. I'm going to put her there. So, one Shiny per 10. Is that two packs to go? So, if we can hit Shiny. We've hit no Shiny GXs um, in our in person packs. We were able to hit a couple on the online videos. Oh, we got something here. I think it's Onyx, actually. From, I guess I shouldn't have said anything because that spoiled it. But it looked like an Onyx GX. Maybe it's something more exciting. Either way, we're having fun. I love the set. I wasn't super excited about the set originally, but I have a problem with things that are hard to get. And I'm addicted to things that are hard. Um, hard to get. I'm going to finish that sentence properly so that it's not getting misconstrued. But but it's just, just opening, I don't know. The, I love trying to pull rare cards and so trying to pull shinies is super exciting. Ooh, we got the hollow team up energy. That is it's a good, it's a good 10. You're, you're a good 10, Mr. Mr. Gyarados, number one. And we got our, oh, hey, it's a bird. It's more exciting than Onyx, actually. I really like this card. I definitely want to try it out with some Porygon Z for sure. Um, it could be interesting, maybe be fantastic, but I like 210 with no side effect. You will continuously spam 210. Is neat. Um, I love the art. I'm definitely going to get the stained glass art when that comes out. So that's my second bird, so that's not so bad. That's a pretty alright tin. I get a really good tin. Let's hit one more shiny though. Let's get a shiny Charizard. Or we can save the shiny Charizard for the Charizard tin. Either way. Again, both is always an option. Alright, we got our energy, dark energy. Maybe that'll mean shiny Umbreon. Probably not, but it could. A lot of shiny. I would love to just get a shiny GX, like an actual shiny GX. Would be super nice. Oh <sighs> well, yeah, um, this set has been much more exciting than I would have thought. Just trying, just opening and thinking it might be a shiny card is very addicting for me, and hopefully for you guys too. I hope that you're having fun with this set if you've managed to get your hands on it. And our rare is just a Snorlax. So that's it for the Gyarados tins. Messing these piles up. Not the worst bit of pulls, but also not fantastic. Actually, yeah, this tin was okay. This tin was really bad. But hey, we have one more. Mr. Charizard, star of the show. I was actually just going to get some Charizard tins and not do anything else, but then I was having trouble finding them. I bought some Gyarados tins because I was worried I wouldn't get anything. Later in the day, I found a couple of Charizard. So I did just do the one. I already had the Gyarados tins, so... Getting one charge is probably all you need if you want to actually play the promo. Um, as far as favorite Pokemon, I like all Pokemon a little equally. Um, Charizard, a little overdone, but can't fault Pokemon for doing what's popular. I also think this card is not only being the best card of the three promos, but it's the prettiest. This card is absolutely gorgeous. I think the best looking Charizard card ever done. And I do think one of the prettiest Pokemon cards of all time. Um, not that I'm super into just collecting, but I will probably hang on to this at least for the foreseeable future. Just because I love how it looks. I think it's just gorgeous. So I put one center lady. You're getting you're getting replaced at the moment. Alright, let's hit our last ten. Nice and hard. We're gonna get some super rare cards, some super shiny cards. And then we're not gonna open Hidden Fates for a couple weeks. Can we do our neat trainer box? After that, I'm not sure if I wanna get it. I would love to get a Pokeball collection, opening it, seeing how the channel's doing by then, but that's also money, so we'll see. Maybe we'll get one, maybe we won't. Alright, Gyarados, you gotta. You will sneak out for now. Alright, four more packs of Hidden Fates.
Oh, it's gonna be a fun weekend. We're gonna do a couple of videos. Oh, oh, I saw the card again because I have really sloppy hands tonight. It's late. Did a lot of spent a lot of time hunting for these. Spent a lot of time just kind of cooling off after record without the fans on. So I usually just record late at night because it's very warm right now. All right, so we got Charizard to Charmander, a Psyduck. So I know what we got. Did you guys know? Maybe we'll find out. I could be wrong. I did. was wrong earlier. Maybe we'll get a shiny with it too. Let's be kind of glad we did. We got a shiny Guzzlord. Hey yo, Nido Nido, and another Rainbow Birds. So we got two of the Rainbow Birds. Um, as much as I wanted to wait for the uh, glass, the bleh, stained glass version. Um, I can at least actually have enough birds to actually build it for now, and then see if I like it enough to buy the stained glass version. We'll see. But shiny Ghost Lord, shiny Rainbow Birds, that's a good pack. Charizard is already almost beating out these two tins alone. Um, actually, that one pack basically beats out the other two tins. So that's exciting. Squeeze these up, sorry. It's become a sort of pile. Definitely need to get sleeves ready when I film. Um, that habit. Still getting in the habit of filming. Do that. Get the code, leave the color hidden. Flip the energy. Well, I probably always still roll hidden fate just because I'm not gonna continue to open it. Stuff like regular regular packs, I'll probably stop slow rolling. Um, this new product I might slow roll just because it's all new and exciting. We'll see about the tag team tins later. What I decide to do. To get a better view. There we go. That looks better. And I'm still kind of working out the camera in process, getting a good setup. Alright, and Charmeleon, Mr. Mime, and we are hitting a regular Mew. Oops. Nothing exciting. But after how the last pack was, that's okay. Two more packs to go. Shiny Whooper, Shiny Quagsire would be nice. The ever elusive Shiny Charizard, of course. Course. Um, as far as shiny GX's go, Umbreon and Espriana cards I think are really pretty. Not necessarily the best, but they're pretty. It's nothing that I super need. I don't think there's anything I'm gonna buy myself if I don't get it. So maybe maybe a Rowlet, but that's just collecting. I'm not big into collecting, I'm more just getting cards I can play with. I sell a lot of cards I don't need. You know I Good. I buy way too many packs, but I'm not what I would say a collector. I just like opening packs. We got ourselves a Scyther. At this point, we've seen basically everything the set has to offer with commons and uncommons. Just a couple of packs in. Another team up energy. And a Snarbok. One of the few new cards, um, not from the Family Box set. Something that did not get put in our Unified Mindset to give this set a couple more cards along with Jesse and James and Coffin. All right, one last pack. Can we get another shiny? And then, and then we take two weeks off. Oh, I probably shouldn't put the codes so visible. I'll probably, I'll claim them before this video goes up. There's our basic energy. And last pack of the day of Hidden Fates. Last pack for a couple weeks. Treat, treat as well. We got Ekans and Coughing together. We got Magikarp and Cubone. Geodude, a Lieutenant Surge, Koga's Trap, all right, Brock's Grit, a Shiny Lucario, and another Zapdos. The Zapdos card loves us. But hey, that's a Shiny Lucario from a reprint of the Ultra Prism Lucario. Fortunately, not the best card, but still really cool. I will take any sort of shinies. So that's that's what we did. Charizard 10 was the best 10 if this was a battle. Charizard 1. Let's break out the shinies because that's what we all came for. All the other, everything else is just junk. I need to definitely get these sleeved up. I'll work on getting the sleeving set up. 
every every video just playing around trying to get a better setup. So all in all, these were our big hauls. We have the couple shiny energies. Dos Birdos, two birdies. And four shinies. And 16 packs, I believe we got two shinies and 12 packs last time, so a little bit of a pull rate. And this and James, a couple of pretty, if but not the most useful promos. And there we go, that is Hidden Fates. See you guys in a couple weeks. I hope you pulled some cool stuff and you guys had fun. I have to find room for these tins now. Have a good night. This is Cody from Search My Deck TCG. Signing out.